Okay, let's suppose the wave, the EM monochromatic plane wave in a vacuum is not traveling in the x-direction but in some direction described by the vector kappa. Why kappa? Well, kappa is going to be our vector. Its magnitude of kappa, this is equal to the kappa that we're used to, the wave number, right? And the direction of the kappa, so kappa hat, not to be confused with cap with k hat, is equal to the direction of the wave. Okay, since the wave always travels in the speed of light, um, using a vector to describe the speed of the wave is kind of pointless. So instead, we're going to use the the kappa, the wave number, to tell us the frequency or the the wavelength of that wave. So. Given kappa, we can rewrite our, our wave functions as this. So we have our E vector complex and some arbitrary R vector at some time t. It's going to be equal to our E naught vector that's complex that has a phase constant inside of there times E to the i. Okay, what do we use for kappa x? Well, um, depending on the direction that R is facing, R could be faced. So let's, let's suppose we have our wave shooting off this direction, right? And then we have our R pointing, you know, over here, okay? Um, if, you, if you think about, like, let's say you're on a, on a boat, okay, and the ocean has these, these plane waves that are traveling on the surface, so my hand is really close to the camera. It's kind of going like this. If you're traveling with those waves at the same speed as the waves are traveling, then you're going to see the waves basically stand still, right? But if you're traveling at some other direction at the same speed, you're going to see the waves. You're going to basically see like a longer wavelength. So, in order to describe that, we're going to take the kappa vector, kappa vector, and dot it with the r vector. Okay. When the two align, that's when you get the fastest rate of change of the waves. But when the two are perpendicular, then it doesn't matter how far you move in the r direction. You're not going to get a different value for the wave. Minus omega t, of course and the direction um, of the electric field at the point is described by this n hat vector. And what is n hat? n hat is the polarization vector. That basically describes the direction that the electric field points at a certain, you know, it's, the electric field isn't gonna change direction halfway through. It's gonna keep waving in the same plane. Uh, as we saw here, the n hat direction could be either, you know, j hat, j hat, or it could be negative j hat. Either way, it doesn't matter. You just if you if you choose a different value for n hat, you have to just sh uh, shift the phase constant to align everything. Okay, so n hat is a polarization vector, and our b vector is already described thanks to Maxwell's laws. And rather than use b naught, we're going to just use one over c e naught and then use the same e to the i kappa vector dot r vector minus omega t n hat. Um, sorry, not n hat. Kappa hat cross n hat because the b field points perpendicular to the e field, right? Uh, another way to write this out, a little bit simpler notation is one over c kappa hat, the direction of the wave motion, cross the e vector, whatever that's gonna be at the point uh, complex. Okay, so these two equations uh, describe everything you need to know about the E vector and the V vector given any direction of motion, any wave number, any polarization, and as long as you're in a vacuum. So everything works out. Um, where are we at? Oh, um, if, if this complex number is driving you nuts, then you just take the real of all that and remember the real of e to the i something is just cosine of that something. So uh, we have e vector that has to be equal to um, e naught vector times cosine of k vector dot r vector. Double check that I'm, I'm not kidding you here. No, I'm not. Minus omega t 
plus the delta that came from this this complex and the b vector has to equal 1 over c uh, this is in the n hat direction and the b vector has to equal 1 over c times that so oh I forgot my kappa hat cross e vector okay and so that's that's the two equations um, without complex notation using cosines uh, and remember the trouble we ran into trying to add cosines to each other so we just we, we'd like to stay in complex notation until the very end. So there's really not much more to say about how plane waves in a vacuum look like. Um, the next section we're going to examine uh, energy momentum. We're going to talk about the energy momentum of light. And uh, if you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you quickly. Um, if you want to do a video response, I, I, I'd be more than excited. I haven't had a video response yet, so I'm looking forward to that. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye.